Hi again and welcome back to our video tutorials on Corel's Video Studio X3. Today we're going to cover the wide variety of output methods in EasyEdit. If you are unfamiliar with EasyEdit as a quick, easy, yet creative video editing application within Video Studio, I recommend first viewing parts 1 and 2 of the Using EasyEdit tutorials. If you've already done so and you're ready to output your movie, or are just curious about all these great choices, then stick around. Where we left off last time was we quickly created a movie with some basic edits, arranged our clips, chose a theme, transitions, titles, and audio, and clicked the output button. Doing so has brought us here. Notice all these great options. Let's begin with the choices for social media and sharing sites such as Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, and Vimeo. I'll click Facebook first. If you're not logged into your Facebook account, it will ask you for that first. Then you click OK for a disclaimer and go to Upload Settings. Then choose which album you'd like to store your photos in. So it actually brings all your photos from your Facebook account and displays them here in Video Studio. So yeah, you'll probably want to create an album first before you do this. So go ahead and choose any one you want to. Click Start Upload. And Video Studio converts the movie to Facebook standards and uploads it. When it's done, you'll get a confirmation of completion. Pretty easy, huh? Video Studio takes the guesswork out of file formats and compression and does all the work for you. Flickr would work the same way if I had an account, and YouTube works the same way too. And I do have an account, let's click on that. Type in your username and password to log in, and click Next. And you can see there's the options here. Again, you start uploading, and again, you'll get a confirmation when you're done. Vimeo, again, is similar. These all take you to a sign-in page, or the page that asks you to create a new account, followed by the upload page. Video Studio will convert the files to the necessary format and upload them. Choosing Disk will take you to the DVD menu area, where templates are waiting your selection. If you desire to customize the menu, it will then launch DVD Factory, the same application that's used in the burn application. Otherwise, you can just start the DVD burning process right here. See the tutorial on burn to learn more about creating DVDs in Video Studio X3. Let's try device next. Device means such things as any of your iPods, iPhones, PSPs, and mobile phones. As you can see here, it recognizes that I have my iPod Touch attached and is ready to upload to it. All I need to do is click the Start Copy button to begin uploading to my iPod Touch. Selecting File is where we get more choices and where you'll need to know a little more about what you're trying to accomplish. Is it for the web? HD? Does it need to be cross-platform? Have the widest compatibility? Smallest file? Quickly though, under the video format list here, MPEG-2 can be used as broadcast quality with CD quality audio up to 1280 by 760 at 60 frames per second. MPEG-4 is a higher compressed MPEG-2, creating files smaller than JPEGs or QuickTime. H.264 is excellent HD quality that can be used on the web. The Advanced Editor has the best of both worlds by having the ability to create an MPEG-4 H.264 file. This is what YouTube and Vimeo are now using. AVI and WMV are standard Windows video formats that produce larger files for desktop use. QuickTime, created by Apple, is similar to AVI and WMV, but is cross-platform. 3GP is used for 3G mobile phones. The choices in the video quality list will depend on what you choose in the video format list, but the explanations are much easier to determine. Once you make your decision, click Save, and your file will be created. Selecting Advanced Edit will take your entire production and open it in, well, Advanced Edit. So let's do that. Cool thing is, is that we will now put all your elements in their appropriate timeline tracks. The main video track, overlay tracks, audio tracks, and text tracks. You should try and make sure you have the timeline button here selected on the advanced edit timeline. And you, but you'll be quite amazed at how it actually comes out. This allows you to do a majority of your work quickly in easy edit and fine tune things here in advanced edit. Well, I hope that helps somewhat. The help file in Video Studio X3 is also a great assistance and can be accessed up in the upper right hand corner. So don't forget to use it as a resource for your learning endeavors. That's all for Easy Edit. Thanks again for viewing our tutorial and stay tuned for future ones.